Today, you're going on a virtually guided tour of Lake Anna. I'm Melanie Lucero, and I'm gonna be your guide. As a Lake Anna real estate agent, when my clients come down, I like to meet them at the heart of Lake Anna. It's right in the middle of this 17 mile long lake at the Lake Anna Plaza. This is a great place to kick off a visually guided tour as well. And for those who have never been to Lake Anna before. Located right off the 208 is the Lake Anna Plaza, which features three restaurants and a tap house. Also here is the Lake Anna Yacht Club, where the public can pay to rent covered boat slips. The most popular time to visit is from spring to fall. Now, before we get going, I always share one big tip with my clients that have never been to Lake Anna before. I want you to know that just driving around the area will not give you a good idea of Lake Anna. And this is because the roads are surrounded by really tall trees that obstruct the true views of the lake from land. Now, while driving, you may get a quick look at the water from the bridges, but this really does not do the lake justice. And it really isn't the best representation of the experience that you'll have here. You'll wanna get out on a boat and cruise around just a little. Be sure to contact me directly and I can set you up for success. And depending on availability, I may even be able to take you out on a personal boat cruise. Hey, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and notification button so I can continue to put out free content for you. Today we'll be sharing what's on the public side of the lake. Kicking off from the Lake Anna Plaza, if you travel north on the water, you'll pass the iconic Lake Anna State Park where the public can use and access all its amenities from the dedicated beach area to trails and so much more. Continue north on the water and you'll find the boardwalk at Thames, right off Route 522, which offers boat slips for their guests to use during their stop at the location. This hotspot features Tim's restaurant that serves American and seafood, but don't forget to check out the businesses underneath Tim's. There's Moo Through Ice Cream, which is so delicious, a deli, watercraft rentals, and mini golf with arcades. A waterfront motel is also under construction as of 2024 that's right next to Tim's. Now, if you continue north on this branch, you will find a local favorite sandbar. Additionally, also on the northern tip of the lake off of Route 719 is the Cove Restaurant with waterfront boat slips for their guests to use. Here you can expect traditional American food and a bar. Boat slips for rent and gas for your boat are also available here. If you travel south of the 208, you will continue to explore different branches and coves. Play a game of finding the marina signs in the event you need gas or to grab quick items. Additionally, south of the 208 bridge, you'll start seeing islands with shallow waters. Sometimes the locals like to put up volleyball nets for everyone to play. Lots of boats like to anchor down and relax for a while. You can sunbathe on your boat or dip into the lake and chat some people up. If you continue to travel further south down the lake, this is where the widest, most open area of the lake is with some of the deepest waters. And at the most southern, very tip of the public side is Pleasant's Landing in El Patron, a waterfront restaurant offering delicious Mexican food and big margaritas. Traveling from the most northern tip of the lake to the most southern tip of the lake could take you anywhere from around 45 minutes by boat if you're traveling at a relatively fast speed. Cruising on a boat on the public side is one of the favorite things people love to do, along with looking at all the different waterfront houses and styles. They really are an attraction that people love to see. What makes Lake Anna so unique is that we are not a cookie cutter area in terms of real estate. The houses are all so different architecturally and conceptually. You'll see them range from a grand rustic log home to modern monster sized homes and everything in between. If you buy vacant land here, you are free to choose your builder. You are not required to use a specific builder by the HOA or counties. Therefore, you're gonna see so many different styles of houses that create this perfectly imperfect balance of residential homes that we see today. When sightseeing, it's neat to watch the birds dive into the water and catch a fish or spot the occasional eagle soaring above. You will also see people engaging in a variety of water sports. My personal favorite is watching people fall off into the water. <laughs> While traveling on the water, you will also notice that while there is a lot of residential development, there is still a lot of undeveloped land. The opportunities to buy vacant waterfront land remains and will continue to remain for years to come. Some of our clients who don't want to fully invest into a house right now find themselves buying vacant land and holding on to it until they're ready or until they save up the funds to build a home. 
The lake has recently been recognized nationally as the number one place in the United States to buy a vacation home for various reasons. From Fox Business to travel and leisure, this attention is turning heads nationwide. In terms of property values of the Lake Anna area, the real estate market has shown a 10-year trend of increasing in value. Data pulled from the Bright MLS shows us that water access and waterfront residential homes only have over doubled in value in the last 10 years. Now, if we take a closer look into the water access and waterfront sales, which include residential and land transactions, we still see an increase in value as well. Meaning the properties, both residential and land with water access and waterfront are appreciating. And if the trend continues, we will continue to see higher home values in the next decade. One could suggest that buying a home now is better than buying in 10 years, where you could risk paying double what you could have paid today. Lake Anna makes one think of Hollywood movies like Heavyweights, one of my personal childhood favorites, where you see all the giant blow up obstacle courses in the water, slides, and other fun water and outside activities to enjoy. Most people that reside at the lake own a boat, jet ski, or smaller items like paddle boards or kayaks. But all you really need to have a good time at Lake Anna is a swimming suit. This is the kind of place where people come once and come back time and time again. A place that you can escape to and make nostalgic memories that will last you a lifetime. For those dreaming of owning property at Lake Anna, there are various options. Water access homes typically range from 300,000 to 800,000, offering a mix of smaller homes, bigger homes, older homes, outdated, newer construction, you name it. And waterfront homes are typically priced from the 800,000 to over 2 million providing a diverse range of options, including those with the more luxurious and updated amenities and breathtaking water views. Now, boathouses are another beast at the lake. Some are like many houses on the water, just without plumbing. Many waterfront properties have some sort of boathouse already existing, which is very ideal. To construct a boathouse today, typically with two covered boat slips, an electrical lift, and a screened in porch, or maybe things like a sun deck, we have seen this cost anywhere from the hundred thousands to 150 thousands. Now keep in mind this estimate varies drastically depending on the builder, the size materials and other factors. We can connect you with several boathouse builders so that way you can explore your options if you need. Thank you so much for joining me on this virtual tour of Lake Anna. If you're interested in exploring Lake Anna living further, don't hesitate to contact the M Group to schedule your private tour and home buying consultation. If you buy with the M Group, we'll provide you with a complimentary boat tour starting in spring to fall time to kick off your home buying experience with us.